Hello and welcome to Become Popular on Facebook at YouTubeHi.com, written by Adam Jones, and spoken by Adam Jones he he he. Part 1 Since Facebook added the new timeline feature I have been able to connect with about 30,000 people. There are many good reasons why people would want to become Facebook famous. Here is a quote from an article I recently read at Cloud.com. Previously, people relied almost entirely on radio announcers, TV hosts, and traditional media to shape their opinions. Today you can drive the conversation, voice your opinion, and connect with people all over the world using social media. Social media has democratized influence. Influence is the ability to drive action. For example, Oprah's opinion on literature has inspired millions to read titles from her book club. But you don't have to be Oprah to have influence. You influence your friend when she listens to a song you recommend on Facebook. You influence your coworker when he checks out an article you posted on LinkedIn and shares it with someone else. Social actions like these are a reflection of influence. End quote. The following information is a formula I have developed which has enabled me to build a huge following on Facebook. Follow this strategy and you'll be the most popular person in your network of Facebook friends. Being connected with a lot of people on Facebook can bring some incredible opportunities. If you are an author then a large network on Facebook will demonstrate that you are an authority figure in your marketplace. If you're popular on Facebook then you can even make a website teaching people how they can become famous on Facebook, like I have here, and give it away for free. Ha ha ha. For me, being well connected has helped me connect with awesome people from all around the globe. I'm no in it for the money. I'm more interested in connecting with people for influence. I enjoy being able to add value to people's day and occasionally challenge their worldview. I'm sometimes considered controversial on Facebook, but that has certainly not been helpful in growing my popularity. Most people aren't on Facebook to be challenged. They usually want to chill out and see something interesting or funny, or cute. I do love sharing cute animal pictures, I admit it. That being said, I don't see Facebook as only a medium for entertainment. Being well connected on social media has boosted my online income, mostly through referrals to websites, such as this one right here, YouTubeHi.com. If you are curious about how it's possible to make money on Facebook then check out the free YouTube money tab at my website YouTubeHi.com, in there I explain how I make money from YouTube. The same principles apply for monetizing Facebook. When people give you the gift of their attention you have the ability to direct them to sites off Facebook. I personally avoid selling on Facebook. Facebook is a place to connect with people and build real relationships. It's not a place to pitch a product. If you're going to sell something then sell the click. In other words, if you want somebody to check out a website then tell them why they should check out the site. Stir curiosity. Sell the click. Nothing more. Anyway, here's how you can grow your Facebook network. Take control of your timeline. Make your wall a place where people enjoy stopping by. To do that, go to your privacy settings on Facebook in the top right drop down menu and then change your settings so that only you can post on your wall, and that any other posts require your approval, before other people see them. Sure, it's great to have people write on your wall, but this is the easiest way to avoid people spamming and helps you have control over what people see when they arrive at your timeline. You may not have a spam issue now but it can become more of an issue when you are connected with tens of thousands of people. Note. Change this setting a few days before your birthday. It's nice to allow your friends to write on your wall on your birthday. If you don't, then they will bite your head off. Share content that is share-worthy. Become the source of everything that you share online by downloading and re-uploading. Give accreditation for anything that you find but make sure that you are the source of the share. This will give you the ability to carry a message with the share. The easiest way to get followers and friends on Facebook is to leverage viral content. In other words, most of your posts should be content that you already know is share-worthy. If most of your posts have already passed the share-worthy test then you will increase the rate that your posts are shared, allowing your reputation to piggyback off the spread of viral media. The share-worthy test simply means that the content has already been shared by others. The more something is shared the more it becomes share-worthy. It's that simple. There are a few important things to consider such as the timing of your post, the amount of exposure that the content you are sharing has already received, and the relevance of your post. Different people like different things, so share content that is relevant to your network. You will quickly learn what content people like based on the feedback you receive from people. Sources of content, Facebook friends, search your Facebook newsfeed for content that is being shared by a large number of people. If you are feeling lazy then feel free to grab content from me. You're welcome to do that with all my posts. Any attribution would be appreciated. What I have noticed is that people are happy for you to share posts as long as you are respectful and give credit where credit is due. To tag a person in on your post you need to use the app symbol and type a person's name. Give attribution as much as possible. It is respectful and it will also help your post gain more exposure as your post will show up on their timeline as well as your own. Google Plus, one of the quickest ways that I find share-worthy content is Google's new social network Google Plus. 
If you're not yet using Google Plus then it's time to sign up at plus.google.com. Track down your friends and add as many people to your circles as possible. In the beginning I added people daily. Adding the person to a circle is the Google Plus equivalent to Facebook's friend request. People are notified when they are added to other people's circles. By having a large network of people on Google Plus you will have a greater chance of finding quality posts. One technique that I came up with is to search Google Plus using Control F and typing the word shares. This will help you jump between posts that have already been shared and have therefore passed the share worthy test. To make things easier, Google Plus now has its What's Hot section which will show you the most shared posts of the day. Add people to your Google Plus network daily. News. Check out the latest news on Google. Everybody likes to know something before their friends do. So if you come across news that you feel is relevant, important and entertaining to your Facebook network then share it. Share my stuff. You are welcome to share anything that I post and make it your own. Most of what I share has already been tested to be shared worthy and will definitely increase the chance of you getting likes and shares on Facebook. Add your website to the bottom of pictures. If you wish to add your website to the bottom of any pictures then download and use paint.net. Paint.net is free and simple software for editing photos. It's basically a free version of Photoshop but much simpler to use. You can also include a message at the bottom of the pictures that you share. You may notice with some pictures that I add HTTP colon flash flash www.youtubehigh.com at the bottom. The good thing about having your website at the bottom is that it will be carried on even if somebody downloads the picture and shares it manually, instead of just clicking the share link. Use the description area. When you share a YouTube video or any video actually you can actually change the description area. Most people don't realize this. So go to the original YouTube link and paste the video URL into your Facebook status update. Click on the description area and you will see that you can edit it. Always include a little message so that when people share your video their network of friends will see your message, such as to see more check out youtubehigh.com you need to include the http colon flash slash with videos to make the link a clickable link. Create links to other people. Facebook will show your posts to people if they think that you have a strong connection with that person. For that reason I always click like when people comment, especially if it's a person who hasn't commented for a long time. This will make you show up in each person's notifications, but it will also tell Facebook that you have a stronger connection to that person. And so Facebook will make sure that your posts show up on their wall. If you notice my last post, I have encouraged people who don't usually comment to make a comment. That helps to make sure that I show up in their news feed. Wish people a happy birthday. Don't forget people's birthday. Facebook already tells you that it's their birthday. Don't be lazy. Wish them happy birthday. It's one of the most important days of the year for them. It's nice, respectful and important if you value your Facebook relationships. It also feeds the Facebook algorithm. Just do it and be nice. Gift attribution. When you discover content from other people you should mention them when you make your post. Just use the app symbol and type their name to ensure that you have their name as a link. This will also make sure that your post shows up on their wall and is seen by their network. So it is polite and smart. It also shows that you care about the fact that other people have gone to the effort of posting. It's no skin off your back. So be nice. Gratitude is the best attitude. Max out your subscriptions. Max out your subscriptions by subscribing to 5000 people. In other words, on a daily basis you should max out your ability to subscribe to other people. Ideally you should connect with people who share some interests in common with you. You can subscribe to a maximum of 5,000 people. This will get your name to show up in their subscribers list. You will get plenty of reciprocal subscribers people who subscribe to you after they notice that you subscribed to them and you will also show up in their subscribers list. In your about section you can change your job or occupation to become a call to action. In other words, you can put a sentence that will encourage people to check out your profile. To see an example of this check out my job section on Facebook. Don't just subscribe to random people. Find a group of people who are the type of people that you want to be connected with. Target your subscriptions. By targeting people who you share an interest with you will also have a higher chance of having the type of people that you want to connect with. The more people you subscribe to the more you will see people reciprocating and subscribing to you. Friends of cool people are usually pretty cool. So find a cool mate and subscribe to their friends. Use your job description section. Change your job description in your about section. You can use it as a call to action. Most people don't realize this. When you subscribe to them your name will be displayed in their subscriber section. They also see your job position. Have a look at my job description and you will see what I mean. Mine says, click follow at my Facebook timeline, smile, share, and subscribe. Friend requests, max out your friend requests daily with super targeted friend requests. Don't just friend anybody. The word friend should not be abused. If you want somebody to be your friend on Facebook then be polite. Introduce yourself and tell them why you want to be friends with them. Find something that you both have in common and mention it. It will help increase the chance that they will accept your friend request and start the relationship off on a positive note.
On a daily basis you can send about 25 new friend requests. I suggest that you be highly targeted with the people who you friend. Don't just connect with anybody. Perhaps choose people from within a group that best reflects something that you are passionate about, so that you know that you already have something in common. Then mention why you are adding them as a friend and what you have in common. Don't just send a friend request and hope that it will be accepted. Introduce yourself and use it as an opportunity to start the relationship off positively. Some people have written to me saying that people keep rejecting their request to become friends. Here's a template that you could use. Hi underscore 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 underscore. My name is insert name here. I notice that we are both interested in insert interest here. Nice to meet you. I just sent you a friend request in the chance that you're interested in connecting as friends on Facebook question mark. Smiley face. Kind regards. Signed, your name.